Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So as you can see, we're traveling to uh, Schuler. It was uh, quite a distance. It was, uh, I think it was 100,000 or 225,000 jump. Uh, I'll show you where we're going in a second. So we got a couple things we need to do this episode. First things first, let's get back into working on the Black Knight before we get to the planet. Uh, we still got a bit of sea bills here. We're okay to the end of the month. As long as we don't spend over a million here getting this guy fixed up. All right, so let's refit this now. So now we're looking at just putting on items that are going to do damage plus uh, percentage melee damage, uh, which I think is just going to be the claws. So let's go down here, claws. We're going to drop those on. Uh, we still got a shit ton of weight to work with here. So I'm wondering, like we got like tons of weight to work with. I wonder if we can put the 400 in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Going to put the 400 in. Because, why not? Heat sinking shit, but who cares. Um, let's put the four in, 400 in. Get some speed. 227,000 in two days. Easy enough to do. Um, you want to add a bit of e-cooling? How much would the e-cooling be to add in here? Way too much. Yeah. Um, we still have to put the armor on, too. That's the other thing. we got to... I want to make sure we have enough weight for the armor here. Just wondering if we if we absolutely have to have the mask on this thing. Um, yeah, we're going to have to. Either that or we swap out the gyro defense. We're going to be getting extra defense from the uh, DNI cockpit and everything. We could go with an... Uh, uh, where are you here? The ultralight. That'll just squeak it under. Yeah, let's go this route. That's going to give us... What movement is this? 610. Yeah, marginally better. I think 5.9 with a mask is going to be better. Let's see. Activate... Control click on move button mech in HUD to activate this item. 18 heat return when activated. 10% chance for failure on activation. 15% additional chance for failure on consecutive turns. Legs receive failure penalty. Huh, that's interesting. We could go that route and put this back to the 300. Wow, we got a shit ton of weight to use here. Yeah, maybe we leave the 400 then. I don't know, let's try it like this and see what happens. And then we gotta get the next we got one more round of stuff to put in. Are we gonna have enough weight oops for the spiked? Or not. We will without the mask. So if we go with the three hundred core Ah oh man, really? Let's pull this off now. Um Sorry, gear. Let's go with... Uh, getting low on double heat sinks, eh? We could put an exchanger in. I mean, we could build this so that we're... Uh, almost capable of firing the weapons too, right? <laughs> that gives us the ability to fire all the lasers. Just with an exchanger and plus two e-cooling. Got the mask for speed. The spiked... Okay, I'm not going to put it in right now, but the spiked arm... Well, where are we here? Spiked armor. 
Okay, cool. Now we've got the other thing I wasn't really thinking about is we have additional hard points. Now the laser AMS, I can't put it in here because we're going to be using up all the slots here, unfortunately. But boomstick's a possibility. Well, we wanted to get the flail in. These are just straight up melee weapons, right? So the flail can go on this side. Still got tons of weight left over. Chainsaw we could use. Flame breath would be nice, but it's got to be in the head, I think. I mean, we could put a boomstick on it, but... It uses LBX 20 ammo. You know what? What do we got weight-wise here? This is insane, though. Just put friggin' slug ammo in this thing. We wouldn't have weight for the armor, though, at that point. Sadly. That would be insanity, though. Okay, flail should stay on this side. Um... I think, let's go with, um, we have a fluid gun down here, we do, fluid gun, let's put some acid on that sucker, that's inferno, we want acid, okay, getting darn close here, yeah, I think we'll be okay, alright, let's confirm these five days, Getting pretty close. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. May want to switch out the endo as well. Uh, not yet. We're gonna take this one, but not yet. So we gotta we we jump to the flashpoint planet. That's the other thing I was gonna say. So we're gonna take this flashpoint. I'd love to send in the Black Knight, but we've already done that. I want to take a little bit of a challenge on this one, I think. All right, let's have a look here. Mech bays, let's get this Black Knight finished up. We're almost done. All right, refit. Okay, so now it's just all the percentage damage stuff that goes on, so spiked armor can go on. I think we're gonna change out the clan endo to regular endo. Nah, I don't think we can actually. Oops, let's not do it that way. That's just adding cost. Let's just make sure we're not messing shit up here. Because I'm good like that. Alright, spiked armor. Yeah, it would have been the same. Alright, just making sure. Uh, spiked armor. And we need to put in our DNI cockpit. Which is here. Takes up that extra space, unfortunately. And we need the virtual reality pod. Bonus initiative, bonus maximum evasion. This thing is awesome. Okay, so now we've got to deal with the weight here. What else can we add? I mean, I guess I could just add some lasers and the heat sink or something. Um, case might be nice. Let's move the exchanger over to the mask. Is the mask volatile? Doesn't say it's volatile. So let's leave the exchanger here. And then let's put in case. Um, just so the exchanger is not going to destroy anything here. Um, combat shield. Because everyone can use minus 5% reduced damage taken. Sure. Why not? Um, ah, yes, we don't have uh, don't have any of this stuff in here. Could add the warfare suite. Weapon heat generation. This is the defense one, though, right? Reduce signature ECM bubble. Yeah, let's, let's add the watchdog suite. Put it in the CT. 
Okay, we got just a little over a ton left. 0.25 tons for a UAV, because why not? <laughs> I don't know. Running out of ideas here, guys. Running out of ideas. Uh, TSMs. Yeah. Forty-five heat activated, eh? Plus fifty percent melee damage when activated. Are you kidding me? Six dynamic slots reserved. Are you serious? Okay, that makes sense. The problem is I don't have six slots. How could I get six slots? Zero weight, though. It sounds ridiculous for zero weight. Activates above 45 heat. So we just fire off all the lasers. We just take the exchanger out. <laughs> fire off all the lasers and then punch somebody in the face. Oh, man. We could do that. So the exchanger in the case could come out, and then this could go... Well, we wouldn't have enough slots, though. We need more slots. I mean, the fluid gun could come out. But this is zero weight. It's not saving us anything. Like, our tonnage would be pooched at that point. Let's leave it for now. I think we're going to be hitting hard enough as it is. And when we start to move into assault mix, then I'll worry about that. Yeah. Um, what do we got? What do we have for one ton? I mean, we could put a medium laser or something in, I guess. A heat, we can't have room for a heat sink. Um, heat sink cooling pod. Minus 20 heat when activated. Has one use. Control, click on move button and HUD to activate this item. One use. Gonna throw it in for now. Just want to see how it works because I haven't used it, used anything like that yet. And I'm sure we're gonna be running hot, so let's just drop it in, help us out a little bit. Let's confirm this. We got three days, but in that three days, we have a flashpoint to do. Log and note. Somebody call this out, so we are definitely gonna go and respond to that call. Two and a half skull, rogue loot cache, one on one. Come on, let's do this. Limited Gladiator. I have no idea what this guy's running. So let's go for salvage. We got it, well, bankruptcy is projected, but we'll be fine. Let's accept this. And uh, yeah, Bobby Egg and the Bushwhacker. Let's do this. All right, guys, let's show this local mercenary how things work in the real world. I have no idea what he's got. don't really care. Looks like a Jenner. He is just going to stand there and die. Oh, it's a clan Jenner. I don't know where you picked that up, buddy, but, uh, what's up? Oh, he's going to move. Should have sensors on me. Yep. It is a clan mech, right? So... It's the urban, uh, the urby uh, cameraman. Ventilator? That's what it's called? I guess so.
Not going to last long against me, buddy. Come on. Kind of a nice loadout on that mech, though. It's really, really well balanced. If we were close in, it'd be dangerous. All right, who's going next? Ventilator. Kill the local merc and kill the camera guy. It just says stop the camera guy. It doesn't say kill him, but you know me. I see stop and I, I just see kill. I, I don't even... Time for a little warlord. I'd love to be able to shoot this guy's head off, but uh there goes half his weapons. Those are all in the torsos. What the hell? How many camera guys do they got up there? Fucking cheaters. Two of them. I don't think you can see me now. Either that you're waiting for your camera guys. Either way, you're gonna die, don't matter. I only lost a couple of those weapons. Okay, I think these guys are the AC-20 versions or AC-10s, they can't reach me. Jenner, where are you going with no arm? It's a good thing those friggin' improved medium lasers aren't, uh, or heavy lasers aren't hitting me. I think he's like having problems, like major problems with heat. He's taking a punishment, there goes his other arm. Yeah, they're trying to tag me. Fucking cheaters. Fucking cheaters. You guys just stand up there and watch your boss die horribly. He must be losing his shiz right now. He's like, oh, look at my clad weapons are being destroyed. I don't want to replace them with inner sphere versions, you kidding me? That's what I'd be saying. See, the thing about the stealth system too, as long as it's not moving very fast and I'm at range, it adds a ton to their ch chances to actually hit me. Right? So... The chance for them of actually hitting me is so ridiculously low right now. See that, guys? This is going to happen to you in a second. Yeah, they can't see me now. How you like me now? A little bit of cool moldy. A little bit of bit of cool moldy up in here. Alright, let's do this. What has he got? Two tags, two small lasers, and a flamer? That's a cheaty mech if I've ever seen one. It's like, I'm gonna tag you for my buddy if you can get a better chance of hitting you. You keep bringing it over, buddy. Don't make me come after you. It's just gonna make me angry. Wonder if I'll run out of gas ammo on these guys. Grind shot. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I think we took his arm off. He's fleeing the interview. Where do you think you're going, guy? 
You want to be part of the battle, you be become part of the battle. You don't run away. I love how the animations wait till you can actually see the enemy mech before they happen. He's just like, he's walking around with a broken arm here. Ah, the dead guy's inspired. Inspired to be dead. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Oh, it's the same thing. Two tags. He's going down. Stop the camera guy. You should be running. Oh, right, you can't. <laughs> uh. One down. I really hope there's some half decent components here to get. Hey, Wardlord's back. Just in time. She's running away. Sorry, I'm starting fires on the battlefield. Apologize. Okay, move into the open. Better chance to hit him. Not much better, but another one plus one helps. Just bail out. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Just bail out, guy. Fuck. Nope, doesn't want to bail out. Why not? Can't see me. Oh man. Last round, see if he could take his head off. Ah well, good enough. Oh, he destroyed both of his legs. Never mind. There you go. You're a cheater, I will prove it well, yeah. really? Really? Wow, was that was entertaining? No, not really. Mission successful. Alright, let's see if there's any clan components left over we can scrape. Scrape off the ground. Three kills. Yay! Helps out a little bit. Um, Bloodhound probe. Ooh, large combat shield. Are you kidding me? Yes, please. Clan enhanced imaging. We want that? Probably. Patchwork materials, eh. You know what, let's take the uh, enhanced imaging. See what else we get out of this. We didn't do too bad, actually. Two small lasers, two tags. Ah, junk, really? All right, what do we get here? Rogue loot cache, here it comes. Oh my god, nice. Yeah, man, that was totally worth it. LRM Delta, AC5 Defiance, Flamers, F SRM4 Valiant. Ah, double plus flamer we can definitely use on the Flame Hawk. Actually, Thunderbolt 20 too. We don't have any ammo, I don't think, but uh, that's pretty damn nice too. I don't know if it does AoE though. I don't think it does. Alright. This is the this is a choice piece right here. Nice. Wait, th this guy was a star adder guy? Sure, whatever. 
Okay. So we gotta wait for our pilots to come back anyway. I wanna get that large combat shield into the Black Knight, so let's work on getting that done. I've already got a thought about how I wanna work that out now. So minus 5% is nice, but minus 15% is way better. Let's get the Black Knight up here. And since it's gonna be the one that's being targeted a whole hell of a lot, let's get this combat shield out of here. And let's get the big one. Where are you here? Combat shield. I should put this guy in too. Okay. We need four slots for this. We've got three. It's 5.38 tons. How much would do this way? One ton. So we don't need the cooling pod. That can come out. The fluid gun can come out. We don't necessarily need that. Combat shield's a little bit more important. We got two tons left over. Really? How did that how does that work? Why did it say 5.38 tons? But it's only two tons. I don't know. Not even gonna question it. Let's put the fluid gun back in. I'd rather have the acid in here, I think. Just in case we don't kill something, we can follow up. So let's go this route. 3,500. Nice. It's just basically changing the combat shield around. Not going to argue that. Extra 10% damage reduction. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Nice. All right. Let's get these guys back in the game. So let's get a mission where we can run this Black Knight now. I know everyone's saying, it's about friggin' time, and so am I. All right, four skull, take the bait. We could go that route. Four skull, robbery, ambushing a convoy, stubborn surrender, four and a half. I don't think we go that high. Taking the bait is probably a good one. It's against Karita, though. We don't want to do that. Robbery, then. Let's steal the convoy shiz. All right, Megasaur, you're up. Uh... We got lots of sea bills. Salvage. It is four skulls. And we want this guy, we want this guy, we want this guy. And Sunflower, and Satori, and Megasaur. Okay, this map, not ideal for this mech to test out the Black Knight, however, Keep your eyes open and watch your sensors. it is going to be fine for the rest of us, because we get to use the high ground here. What's up, boss? Roger that. I hear ya. So basically, this mission is going to be these guys taking the high ground, So if we, wait, control, click on move, I see, turn on DNI cockpit or we can turn on mask, okay cool. Let's move. So the DNI cockpit being on means we can take extra damage from over heat overheat heat over heat overheat just overheat We've got an unknown on sensors. let's uh let him know he's not alone what do we got here heavy tbm carrier srm carrier on toast not so bad all right firing what was this Galahad. Waiting for orders. Let's get in the trees. I'm gonna turn on the mask and DNI cockpit very shortly. So this was what? Catapult, C twenty two, okay. Standing by. So we're gonna multi target this guy. 
We're gonna fire against the Wolfhound, but we're also gonna fire against. Is it this was a TBM carrier? Yeah. So this is going on the TBM carrier. All right, firing. Nice hit. Yeah, swarm it up, baby. I mean, we're not really doing much damage, but still. What can I do for you? We're not going to be within SRM range, but that's fine. Just pew pew this guy. Ah, uh, friggin' demolisher. With no stealth, though, this Black Knight could be a sitting duck. We need to have official eyes on, though. We're not going to do that from up here. Although, we can get a direct line of sight on the TBM carrier. Going to multi this up, I think. Yep. Not quite enough to kill it. I think the swarm should be able to take it down this turn, though. Order. On my way. Uh, yes. Confirmed. Oh, not quite. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, but you need to be dead. Waiting on you, Commander. We're facing some pretty deadly stuff up here. That's it, eh? Special delivery. That would be a miss. Gonna be into the thick of things in a second here, guys. That TBM carrier better be gone. Well, you can finally see us, huh? Yes, Commander. Copy that. Okay, where is the TBM carrier? Right here. Yeah, man, we gotta hit him with everything. Copy that. Still not enough. Scored critical hit. Yeah, but he's not dead. Yep. Okay, good. Problem one solved. So the TBM carrier is the most dangerous guy against us right now. Um, just because... The demolisher is not within range and won't be for a while. All right, fire everything. Engage. Neither is the SRM2 carrier. Good to go. Let's get some acid on this guy. Should be able to hit with at least one here. We, not hit, we didn't hit him with acid. I have no idea. I don't think we hit him with acid. Shit. Bomb. 
bombast demolisher really shooting his own guys in the back Christ the Black Knight's pretty much useless right now You know what it is? We're missing the command console. It's making a huge freaking difference. Huge difference with no command console. We gotta get that back up in something here. Uh, Gala had a better chance to hit. That's an awful lot of armor. That's the guy we have to hit, though. So we're going to multi target. And we're going to fire. Nicely done. Warlord's up. I've already started on this catapult. Uh, let's bring it up. Let's hammer him. Spread that damage around. That's nice. Swarms, man, for the win. Uh, you're out of swarms, which you're out of. Let's reserve you. The one thing they will have to do, though, um, is they're going to have to come up with a way for the enemy to target hexes. I copy. Um, where they think the enemy might be and just fire their missiles. Roger. You're not suckering me into that one. Holding for the right opportunity. Okay, keep stripping this guy. Enemy met. Critical damage detected. Ready for orders. On the move. Okay, he's up. Firing on the catapult. God, that PPC missed again. Inflicted some heavy damage. Commander? Okay, victory. Mech destroyed. Sorry, a victory. Right, Commander.
How much balls do I think I have? Cuz standing by. This could change the game right here. No shooting, just running. Okay. Now. We do this. Gordon is deceived. Putting my weight into it. Get rid of all those freaking pulse lasers. So now we can do some close in fighting. Okay. One problem solved. Second thing we do, we target this guy's side. Yes, Commander. We're blowing our cover here. But crap with that fucking PPC. Should be able to knock out this demolisher and then the catapult and the other guy should fall relatively relatively quickly. I think I can absorb the damage they can put out. Is he making a break for it? What's he doing? Good to go. He's basically leaving his guys to die. Yep, we go all in. Okay. Problem solved. Well, not solved, but... Yikes. That hit hard. Not that hard. Stop complaining. Damn it, that Galahad. I thought he was going to... Oh well. Thought he was going to be spotted there for a second. I got to get um, Megasaur and the Galahad. Let's reserve this. We're going to activate the mask in a minute. Commander. Oh, we can go one more. Can we get eyes on him? Roger. Yes, thank Full you. Speed. Oh, he gets to go before us, though. Damn. Nice shooting, though. Want a little payback, girl? I think you do. On my way. Sounds like you do. Here's some payback. Affirmative. Enemy down. Order. Not within range, really? I'll turn it off, right? Yeah. No point turning it on if I can't get there. What the hell? Got it. Okay, got the torso. Target 
target's taken a triple hit. Receiving you. Yeah, so you get the kill, girl, because, damn. Yeah, 402, we're hitting over 400, even with that reduction in the claws. So it, I guess that is the best way to do it, then. This guy doesn't have acid on him or anything. Heading out. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> Enemy death. Yeah, real, more realistic fight, that, uh, that was for sure. All right, 237,000. Not bad, not really really evenly distributed. Uh, the bushwhacker here didn't get many kills. Sunflower. I'm wondering if we turn this bushwhacker into a command mech. That PPC, I don't know. I mean, the LRMs are nice. Maybe we just make it an LRM plus command console mech. Because now we got a brawler in brawler in, uh, in close uh, missile mech, long range fire mech, and then long range indirect fire with command console. Because we have a clan, I think we picked up a clan LRM 10 we could put in. I don't know, we'll have to see. Alright, come on. So what I mean by that last mission being a little bit more realistic. Um, you know, we really couldn't see the enemy, they really couldn't see us. This is an option too. Nine tons though. Um, so we really couldn't see each other. Well, we could see them, but they couldn't see us. Um, but it was more realistic because they were moving. We were still shooting at targets that couldn't see us, that still needed to move. Um, what do we want here? And melee-wise, I mean, we had to wait. We couldn't have just run in there, right? Okay, I'm tempted to take the double heat sink because we are low on these. We only got five. Sensor missile range. That's a huge possibility. Let's grab that. Do we have any of these? We don't. We do now. Uh, LRM Artemis. No swarm, eh? SRM tandem. Damage to structure, really? Interesting. Thunderbolt and thermal bolts. I'm trying to keep my eye a little bit more uh, out for ammo as well, because uh, we got double ammo, right? We don't have any LRM doubles. But chances are we'll be using Artemis anyway. We've got two of these. That's it? God, this is going to be such a weird choice here. We've got two catapults already. There's no point in taking catapult parts. We've got Artemis 4, right? Yeah, we do. Take the 285 core. Fuse cell for C bills. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else. Bombast lasers. 55 damage. Can select between damage and range at the cost of heat and accuracy. So my guess is it does, you can change it to make, do more damage close up and less damage farther away for seven tons. It's probably better than a PPC. I don't know, let's take one and try it out. Try it out, why not? Enhanced LRM 15. Increases with distance up to the target. So farther away it, 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 the target is, the more damage it does. Yeah, I mean, we better start grabbing some of this stuff. Not having a really easy time finding a lot of it, so let's just grab those. Let's see what else we get here. Okay, catapult two will found parts. Uh, LBX ten, 
couple of serms, a couple of th thunderbolts, and garbage. All right. Uh, Tortuga to jump point 47. All right. So a little bit of damage there. We were facing eight guys at once. Well, seven guys. Not bad. Not bad. Black Knight performed pretty well. Uh, Griffin took a bunch of damage in the face. That's... Couldn't be helped too much, I don't think. Let's put that at the top. Let's bring in the Whackers and get those done. Let's do this one first. And I think what we do before we end the episode, we're going to have a quick look at the... Uh, let's go one more day. All right. Let's have a look at... The Bushwhacker and see if we can squeeze in that command console. So the X1, let's refit this guy. See what we got here. So, problem with this guy, we gotta move this out of here. Let's put it in the CT. So this would all come out. Then we would go. We still have one, don't we? Because we had two of them, I thought. We only have one? I thought we had two. Apparently we only have one. So let's drop out the uh, Irinia for now. You were good while you lasted. Thank you so much for the help. All right, now we can do this. All right, moving this stuff around. We actually have, actually have extra patchwork materials too that we could add in. So, um, we do have upper energy and a weapon mount. We can take this out, because we're not gonna need it. We're taking this out as well. Uh, let's go with the command console first. So we know what weight we're dealing with here. Uh, where are you? There you are. Yeah, I thought we had two of these. Oh well. Void system cannot be used with command console. Really? Really? We should be able to use the NSS, right? Yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, whatever. I'm not going to question it. Whatever you want to do, man. All right, so we got four tons left over. So weapons, launchers, uh, going way down here. What do we got? We got two clan air alarm tens. So if we put the fifteens, oh, uh, we can't put the fifteens in that arm because there is no launchers there. Move the weapon mount onto this side. And we're going to be super heat efficient right now. So, how are we doing now? Pretty damn good. Let's switch out the warfare suite because we got something better we can replace it with. It's up here. That's going to save some weight. And we've got patchwork materials we can use. We've got to jam some more ammo in this thing. So we can put 0.75 ton there, half a ton here. Then we can take out that and go with couple more tons of ammo. Now, LRM ammo... 
What do we got? Ar we can't use the Artemis. Follow the leader missiles. Either they all hit or they don't. I mean, I guess that would be good for, like, if we know for sure we're going to hit. I wish we had more LK ammo. Actually, let's check the store. Let's see what we got here. Uh, missile systems. Wow, that's it, eh? Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming to the store, man. All right, well, so we got it. We're gonna have an LRM fifty in here. So this is two, four, six. Seven, eight, nine, almost ten turns. Don't have the space. Really? Oh, painful. Oh, wait. Ha! <laughs> we don't need the PPC capacitor. We want to go with more ammo? Probably, if we're only running LRMs. Although, you know what? Here's what we're going to do, though. Got a better idea. Because we've had problems in the past. Actually, you know what? I think we should be okay. Now that I think about it. I was planning on putting case 2 in here and splitting the ammo up. But we're going to shield with this side. So let's move this out of here. We can't put it here. Unless we move the proto double heatsink over. Which I think is fine. And go this route. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14 and a bit turns of, of uh, firing. I think that's pretty good. Go with the LRM 50 on this guy. You can just stay hidden behind a hill, fire off rounds continuously. Running the command console, which is great. It's going to help everybody else out with the uh, um, huge bonus of really helping out uh, Megasaur. That uh, 100 lance based sight distance is incredible. Um, so that's great. So we're going to confirm this. It's a little bit of sea bills, but I'm fine with that. We got the sea bills. Cool. All right. So we're going to end the episode there, guys. When we come back next time, we'll have the lance back up and running. There's a few other missions we can take here, uh, so we'll be getting those done. Um, be back in seven days. You got plenty of time for before the financial report, and yeah, then it'll almost be time to start bringing other mechs forward. Um, get our second lance up and running, so we can generate some more sea bills. We're going to continue to, I, you know, I was thinking about heading more towards the clans, but if we have a look at the map real quick, uh, that's not quite going to be feasible yet. They're, they haven't quite reached it down here. The uh, um, Draconis Combine has basically fought their way up. They're trying to meet the clans up in here. So this will be an interesting fight. It's a nice choke point fight. Pl uh, plants going back and forth. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, but I think we stay in the inner sphere for a bit. Uh, maybe we try and do a few more of these um, flashpoints. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is against the clans and it's four skulls. I don't think we're quite ready for that. But um, we'll take a few missions up around here and see what we can get. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to end the episode there. If you'd like to drop the like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.